Hello guys and uh, welcome into a uh, new BIOS update for the uh, MSI B450 Tomahawk Max uh, Ryzen 3000 ready motherboard. Again, um, thanks to a uh, viewer on, of uh, mine on uh, YouTube, I um, was informed there's a new BIOS version available. We see that in MSI Dragon Center after scanning for um, new software, uh, this uh, 351 version of BIOS will not appear. Most probably it's uh, so new that uh, it doesn't post. We have only third-party utilities and the uh, utilities I uh, do not use. For this, go into Google and uh, type MSI B450 uh, Tomahawk Max drivers and uh, click on the first link you'll be uh, taken right here where in the uh, BIOS tab we see we have this uh, 351 beta version which will improve the system boot time even more um, and also it will uh, improve the uh, PCI Express uh, device compatibility so basically it will make your GPU um, run even uh, better uh, considering the um, signal to the monitor click on the uh, down arrow to uh, download it and then uh, copy, extract uh, the f uh, BIOS file and copy it on a uh, USB stick. Extract it in the uh, USB stick. This is how uh, the uh, BIOS version uh, and file looks. AMS351. Now restart the PC and uh, hit delete while um, it uh, boots up again hit delete right now to enter the uh, BIOS So we are now in uh, in BIOS. We see the last BIOS version from like last week, uh, 342, the Agisa, and now the 351. Again, uh, go here down in uh, the left uh, side on M flash. Click yes. And now the uh, PC will uh, boot up from uh, from the uh, USB stick. It enters the flash mode. And uh, right here we see the uh, USB flash and the uh, version, the directory of BIOS. Double click it and select this one. Are you sure you want to select this file? Click yes. And now the uh, BIOS is updating. Have patience. Uh, this will take uh, a while, but everything will be uh, just fine. Also, keep in mind, look at the uh, temps right now, the idle temps, basically 37 degrees Celsius on my uh, Ryzen 3600 um, with a uh, 92 millimeter uh, aftermarket cooler, the AC Freezer 13. The temps are really good, 
but uh, I must confess today uh, I've uh, reapplied the uh, thermal paste and um, I've um, um, screwed back in the uh, entire cooler perfectly this time but the the temps are really uh, really awesome we're at 21 percent you you can see this uh, this process will uh, will continue you just have to to be patient and down we see uh, the V 31 right here that will be updated too fifty percent for uh, you guys that uh, had issues with blue screens please uh, look at uh, my previous video um, my previous video um, which I've uploaded just before this one um, and uh, you'll see exactly what you need to, to do and what really worked for uh, for me It's no, uh, it's not a problem from the AMD processor or the uh, motherboard. You just need to make sure your um, hard drive or SSD is not compromised in any way. Seventy-three percent. closing to 80 it's really impressive I mean uh, so many uh, updates in so uh, such a short time but um, it will be all for uh, for the best for sure and now we're uh, at 100 percent the system will reboot two times This is the second one. And the uh, boot logo. And we're in. Let's check the BIOS version, opening uh, Dragon Center. Now the uh, new version uh, shows these messages. Um, it needs to start a uh, SDK program. In this new version, in order to see the uh, BIOS info, we need to go in support then up here where we have live update go into advanced um, and click on system info right here and here we have the uh, BIOS version 3.51 and all the uh, other um, versions 
of the drivers and software installed. I hope this uh, will help you. I wish you all the best and uh, I'll uh, catch you in the next one.